Hey guys, welcome to the next round of our interactive 1 GHz retro gaming PC. So previously you guys voted on the AMD Athlon running at 1 GHz. We're gonna go with Windows Millennium Edition and the graphics card is the Hercules 3D Prophet 4500 with the PowerVR Cairo 2 chip. To cast your vote for this video, click on the information icon on the top right hand side of the screen. Today we're voting on storage. You have a choice between an IDE hard drive, a SATA hard drive, an SD card and solid state. To make sure you're getting all the YouTube notifications, make sure you're subscribed and click on that notification bell icon. So let's have a closer look at the storage options. Option number one, classic IDE hard drive. This is a Seagate Barracuda with 80 gigabytes of storage. So that would have been quite a lot of capacity back in the day. A little bit more modern is this drive. It's a Western Digital, also 80 gigabytes, but this one uses the SATA interface. Option number three is using an SD card. They're very convenient. You can buy them basically everywhere. Where I live, I can buy them in the supermarket, at the post office, so they're very easy to get and the prices are good and the capacities are very retro friendly. So if you want me to install Windows Millennium Edition on the SD card, cast your vote. And finally, at the high end, we've got a solid state. It's the Blitzwolf 120 gigabytes. So this is pretty much as fast as it gets. Depending on what solution we're gonna go for, I might have to use SATA to ID adapters or a SATA controller. The motherboard does have a SATA controller on board, but it is from VIA and they can be a little bit flaky, especially detecting more modern hard drives. And that's really all there is to it. Cast your vote at the top right hand side of the screen on the information icon. Do you want to go with the 80 gigabyte ID hard drive from Seagate, 80 gigabyte SATA hard drive from Western Digital, the SanDisk Ultra 32 gigabyte SD card, or the Blitzwolf 120 gigabyte solid state drive? Just like in the previous videos, this one should go live at 6 p.m. my time. It will be online for 12 hours to give you a chance to cast your votes and then at 6 a.m. in the morning, I have a look what happened and on to the next round.